Yo, what is up guys? Anthony here back with another Destiny Child video here on the channel and in today's Destiny Child video everyone we are going to be summoning for the new five star I believe supporter unit in Lima here. So she was recently released to the game with our narrative dungeon update as you can see her featured on the right hand side of the screen right now in her after awakening costume so there she is. And yeah, we'll be summoning for her in today's video. As you can see, I did have to try and fit the Halloween theme style a little bit with the allele on screen. But yeah, there are the Halloween-ish units. So we do have Lima featured on the right hand side of the screen right now. And we'll be summoning for her in today's video. As you guys had probably seen already, we do have the narrative dungeon underway as well as the Lisa's extra lessons. So we can dive into here and you guys can see as we did talk about a ton in our last video of the Lisa's extra lessons recommendations. We do have all of the units showcased here for the first day, which is currently underway. And of course, all the way throughout the seventh lesson. So of course, if you guys haven't done so already, make sure to check out the Lisa's extra lessons video. If you do need some help with choosing your certain units throughout this amazing event of course all of the characters are at plus six status so you will want to obtain the better of the bunch and try and improvise your team a ton and of course gain more power overall so i'll be sure to have the link to the lisa's extra lessons video in the description box below and of course somewhere along this video on the top right hand card of the video screen but without any further ado, we will check out the new 5-star unit in Lima. Here she is, the 5-star dark type supporter, Swift Lima here. As you can see her showcased in her Before Awakening costume on the screen right now. So overall, she does look very good. I do love the design a ton. They did go pretty insane and crazy with this one. She does look very good. So yeah, there is her Before Awakening costume. And as you guys can see on the right hand side of the screen, she does lose sort of the mask here in her After Awakening. And of course, the costume does change to white. And I do believe she has a character behind her once being awakened. But there is the Before Awakening costume. Maybe some of you do prefer the black outfit and of course the mascot herself both costumes honestly do look very good so um, honestly don't mind the before and after awakening costumes on the new unit so there she is we also do have the spa costume here so there she is showcased in the live 2d animation of course once placing her in the hot spring realm this is how she will look and yeah overall a very nice hot spring costume there for her so something to preview as well in the hot spring costume now moving back to the units we will actually check out her kit and of course the drive skill animation so let's do overview these skills before we do dive into the animation first up here we do have the tap skill of course it does deal 380 damage and it also does have a 60 percent chance to remove a debuff from two allies with a debuff so overall a pretty decent tap skill here it does help a ton with the debuff so let's say we do have a heavy boss event with debuffs that are stacking continuously on your units maybe lima will come in clutch and be used a ton during the specific events but of course the tap skill overall is pretty decent nothing too amazing and overpowered but yeah something to come in handy if we do need the debuff removal here from her tap skill of course the percentage is pretty high here on the rank one stat so we'll have to see on how it does scale as for the slide skill here we do have deal 663 damage skill gauge charge amounts plus 36.5 percent to two allies priority highest attack and debuff evasion plus 20 percent for 16 seconds now overall her slide skill is pretty decent in skeleton dance we do have the 36.5 percent skill charge amounts plus to two allies of course prioritizing the highest attack so this is amazing for world boss if you do want to use this supporter unit she does increase the skill gauge charge amounts to those highest type attackers and of course she does have debuff evasion plus 20 percent so let's say yet again we do come across a boss with a high amount of debuffs the slide skill will be perfect for the event so this unit is pretty decent overall she isn't top tier but 
at best she will be used in world boss etc as of course the skills aren't bad but let's say if the skill gaze charge amounts was on the tap skill and of course she did have the debuff removal and debuff evasion on the slide skill then she would probably be top tier as of course people do like to prioritize the skill gaze charge amounts plus on the tap skills as of course these tap skills do charge way faster than the slide skills so pretty much i would say hold on to lima overall she does look very nice she does have a good kit so maybe she will come in handy one day and yeah definitely hold on to this character she isn't bad but she also isn't the best pretty much a niche character in the pretty good spot i would say overall probably i would say around tier 8 or so so yeah definitely hold on to this character throughout to the tap and slide skill she does show some promise so you you will definitely want to hold on to this supporter unit as for the drop skill here we do have deal 2042 damage to three random enemies skill gauge charge amounts plus 50 percent and tap skill damage plus 1500 to three allies priority dark type for 20 seconds long so we do have a drive skill here that does benefit the dark type allies of course she does prioritize those units to increase their tap skill damage so if you are running tapper units in the world boss trial so maybe you'll want to run a lima alongside those units and take advantage of her drive skill but we'll have to see on how she does play out in the event side of the game as of course she was introduced during our current narrative dungeon so we haven't really had any events to play around with her as for the leader buff here though we do have skill gauge charge amounts plus 12 percent for dark type allies so maybe this leader skill does have a decent chance of being used in the world boss side of the game but overall a pretty decent one at best and you'll probably not be using it but overall i do love the tap and slide skill she does have a chance to be used in the event side of the game so i would definitely hold on to this character and consider keeping her for at least a few events and if she doesn't end up showing up in the future light raids or light world boss trials then maybe consider dumping the units if you don't want her any longer now moving on to the drive skill we of course do have the beautiful animation now that i do have the webcam on we can actually react to the drive skill animations live so there is the drive skill animation overall there is the skeleton figure i was talking about so once you do awaken the units you will have this skeleton figuring a behind her so yeah once more let's look at the drive skill overall it does look pretty cool it does fit the halloween theme a ton so overall i do like it myself make sure to let me know what you do think of her drive skill in the comments section below a very nice one there it does fit the Halloween theme like I did say already so yeah I do love this character a ton definitely will be pulling for her I do believe she was delayed quite a bit so finally got her to arrive on the global during the Halloween season so at least we finally got this character to arrive to the global version and yeah make sure to let me know in the comment section below what you do think of Lima overall and of course if you did decide to pull for the new character and if you'll be holding on to her for future light type events but without any further ado let's dive into the summons tab and check out the guaranteed upon summoning for the new five star dark type supporter all right everyone here we are in the guaranteed upon summonings tab as you can see on screen we do have the guaranteed upon summoning for swift alima here the new five star dark type supporter and of course we also do have a guaranteed upon summoning for hasty of voice as she is a boost child for the event as well so you'll definitely want to summon for Ophoys and possibly the Lima if you do have some crystals to spare she is a pretty decent unit so maybe you want to pick up a copy of her and of course use her for the narrative dungeon events boost we also do have Ophoys here of course a pretty nice dark type attacker six hit slider once being fully ignited she is very strong in the devil rumble and of course the event side of the game in raid and world boss so definitely try and pick up this unit if you haven't done so already we also do have the solo pickup summon for swift alima if you would like to try for additional copies here and we do have the dual pickup summon featuring swift alima 
and the hasty opalist as for soul Carta, no new soul Carta this time around but we also do have a blood gem summon for the dark type units if you would love to dump your blood gems for some reason but honestly would not use it here on the blood gem summon but we do have the summon here we are actually at 98 percent for the mileage here so after this multi summon we will be eligible to claim the five star summoning ticket here for the unit so yeah let's check out the banner here and hopefully we do get lucky on the swift lima hoping for her early on as of course she isn't too amazing but you know i still do want to obtain her i do think the tap and slide still do have promise i do like the debuff evasion and of course the i believe skill gauge charge on the slide skill so definitely do want to at least summon for the character while she is boosted why not we do have actually over 150,000 crystals i did not talk about that but yeah we did save a ton of crystals throughout the past events so honestly don't mind summoning for the new character of course a new unit definitely do want to summon for the character while she is boosted up first summon here not looking too promising we do have the guaranteed 45 and unfortunately we did not pull the units now we do have the mileage so let's claim it here we actually do have a ton of five star summoning tickets so if we do have enough time in today's video we'll be able to open up those five star summoning tickets so hopefully we do pull her early on so we can claim those tickets for you all to see if not we'll just save them for the next video as of course i don't want to make this one too long so let's hope for the best and hopefully we do manage to obtain her in the second or third multi summon as you guys always know i do love to at least pull the units before the fifth or on the fifth multi summon after the fifth it does get a little bit shaky and i don't like going past the fifth let's see if we do get lucky here we do have a four two five and no we don't have the unit here we do have the singing bass which is actually a light type supporter unit in the lisa's extra lessons so definitely do want to pick up the bass if you don't have her already she is a very amazing four star character now the final slot here we do have ishtar unfortunately not the singing lima let's see if we can manage to pull her here in the third multi summon but yeah, make sure to let me know in the comment section below how your summons did go for this new unit. Overall, mine have been pretty okay. Let's see if we do manage to pull her here. And we do have her here in the second slot. So there she is, Swift Lima, the five-star dark type supporter unit. As for the bio here, let's check it out. If my phone doesn't disconnect, we do have you're the man of my dreams. I don't want much from you except your cloth. Oh, never mind. So I'm guessing she was going to say close, but yeah so she interrupted herself there but there's the unit very seductive overall a very nice looking character let's see if we can manage to do the double we'll skip here and see if we do get lucky and uh, no we don't have the double for the swift lima but overall there she is a very amazing looking unit and we did manage to pull her within three multi summons so pretty lucky as i was saying make sure to let me know in the comment section below how your summons have been for this new unit or hasty ovoys of course you do want to obtain ovoys she is a very amazing dark type attacker so yeah make sure to let me know how these summons did go for swift and lima and of course the hasty ovoys with the most recent destiny child update all right everyone next up here we do have the five star summoning tickets as i did mention earlier in the lima summons now we do have four five star summoning tickets available so let's see if we do manage to get lucky with these we do have the slayers rank reward finally tossed out to myself i did manage to rank in the top 100 so pretty happy with myself for the last rag in the break event so let's see if we can manage to get lucky and obtain a decent unit from the slayer tickets first up in the first of the four five star summoning tickets we do have here the davi animation and of course a five star tamamo now overall tamamo does look amazing as of course she's a fan favorite but we do have her at plus six so i won't be able to use this unit fodder for the ignition side of the game of course a pretty okay fire debuffer but unfortunately not really used anywhere overall collection purposes and of course cannot like mind looking at her as of course she is a 
very amazing looking character but let's move on to the inventory and see if we do get lucky with the remainder of the tickets now in the item inventory everyone we do have a five star soul card of summoning ticket and of course three five star summoning tickets here i did manage to obtain these from the world boss special reward lucky boxes we did receive in the update so yeah did get pretty lucky with the five star summoning tickets hopefully we can get lucky with the pools now but of course i'm totally fine with some fodder we can't start out with the soul card ticket as of course it is the least exciting of the bunch so let's see if we can manage to snag a prism out of this one and we do have here the praying girl so carta i do believe this one is good we do have when equipped increased critical skill damage by 15 percent for world bosses so this one is amazing definitely will be holding on to that one for my attacker units now we do have three five star summoning tickets let's see if we can manage to get lucky with these of course hoping for the new units or any of the uncaps i am looking forward to probably ymir and such but first up here we do have a dionys city overall nothing too amazing from this one dionys city is outclassed not used at all any longer unfortunately but yet again fire fodder here for the second five star summoning ticket now moving into the next one here let's see if we can manage to snag an uncap now we do have here a five star anemone now anemone overall she is plus six for myself so don't have any use for her she is an okay water type support unit but not really used at all so unfortunately not a good one here from the five star summoning ticket now moving on to the final let's see if we can end off with a good one now we do have here a five star sunny singa now of course singa she is a great supporter unit but she's been out for so long since the start of destiny child global so i do have her at plus six already so cannot use any of the units we did pull today from the five star summoning tickets but it's okay we can just save them for the ignition side of the game and of course if we do want to we can always head towards the hor but yeah make sure to let me know as well how did your world boss special reward boxes go from the maintenance rewards of course we did manage to receive them with the update so yeah let me know in the comment section if you did go lucky with any of the tickets of course i did manage to pull two five star summoning tickets and a five star soul card of tickets so yeah make sure to let me know how your luck did pan out all right everyone so that'll pretty much do it for today's destiny child video and of course our summons for the beautiful swift lima there she is on the screen overall looking very nice in her before awakening costume as you guys have seen already the after awakening on the right hand side of this video screen right now in the white costume so yeah make sure to let me know how your summons did go in the comment section below and of course your luck with the world boss special reward boxes in the comments as well but before you go everyone if you did enjoy today's destiny child video make sure to leave a like on this one and of course if you haven't yet done so already make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are looking forward to more destiny child videos here on the channel and of course would like to be notified for future live streams here as well as well as make sure to check out the links in the description box below to my twitter page and of course to the discord server of our youtube community in the description box as well but with all of that being said i'll see you all in the next destiny child video as always thank you all so much for watching